Falling Frontier is one of the most anticipated space games for 2022. This new RTS game has an updated release window set for the second quarter of the year. For many people, me included, one of the most surprising things about Falling Frontier is that it is being created by a single developer. This is shocking, to me at least, because of the extreme quality of the visuals, audio and general gameplay concepts. Recently, new footage was released for the game, along with some details that went into certain aspects of the game's mechanics. Specifically, in this case, search and rescue and how this can form a major part of whether you succeed or fail in your objectives. Now, talking of objectives, Falling Frontier is set to have a campaign called Titan Rising. This tells of the story of a war between the people of Titan and those of Mars. It also speaks of humanity's reach for the stars and their endeavour to leave the confines of the solar system. So, as with any RTS game, Falling Frontier places you in control of various units. Some of these can be ships, like the types shown on the screen here, a destroyer and a battle cruiser. Space stations in the form of this way station and other such bases also form a vital part of your empire. Ships, of course, can be upgraded, and Falling Frontier allows you to fully customise a ship. Apparently, there's no fixed way to outfit a ship. You are free to build to suit your purposes. But this does come with some consequences. If your planning isn't good enough, there's every chance you may not, look, uh, may not succeed in your goals. In addition to the units, your ships also come with a crew. And this crew consists of characters such as the captain, engineer, navigator and more. Each person comes with their own attributes and purpose. Command staff can learn new skills over time and become increasingly vital to your campaigns. This then is where things can get really interesting. So, just as your crew can have a big impact on battle, and let's not forget, battle is a huge part of any RTS, but where Falling Frontier differs to the usual ground is with what can happen after battles. Once ships have been defeated, it will be possible for players to capture enemy crews. Crews can then be interrogated for information as to the makeup of enemy forces and possibly even their plans as well. There is a catch here though. What is good enough for you is also good enough for the enemy. That means when your ships are defeated, it will also be possible for the enemy to capture your own crew and then interrogate them. If caught, your crew might give up vital information. The nature of this information will depend upon your crew's position. A captain, for example, may know of the location of secret bases, whilst an engineer will know the technical details on ships and weapons. So the level of knowledge that a character has is dependent upon their renown. The higher the level of their renown, the more vital information they will have access to. However, equally, if they have high renown, they'll be less likely to give up the information and be more resistant to interrogation. Characters with low-level renown, meanwhile, are more likely to crack under pressure and give up information. However, as they have low renown, it also means the information they hold is not as sensitive. Now, it will be entirely possible for you to go out and rescue your crew, Search and Rescue is a function that can be added to a certain ships or any ship with a respective module. So tracking down lost ships is certainly a task you can do, however it is a task that in and of itself could be very difficult. If for no other reason, then ships drifting in space can be very hard to find. Finding a lost ship then will be challenging, but a task vital to the safety of your empire. If your crew is taken and gives up important information, this can have deadly consequences for your empire. The developer says that Falling Frontier is very much about risk and reward, cause and effect. In this example, it means that you won't always be able to choose your, to rescue your crew, or if you do, you might have to ignore something else. So ultimately, for me, and I think many out there, it's going to be great to hear that the game will present players with interesting dilemmas. In recent times, the RTS genre has become a little stagnant, so it's great to hear that Falling Frontier is attempting a fresh take on things. I'm certainly looking forward to hearing more about this title. Whilst release is unfortunately still quite a way off, that the developers nonetheless said they would prefer a quality release over a rushed release, and this is something I fully agree with. Games like Falling Frontier don't come along all that often, so when they are due, I agree it's important for them to be the best they possibly can be. From what we have seen so far, this title really does feel fresh and unique. Seems like a great direction for the genre overall then. As always, thanks for watching, 
I'll catch you guys and girls next time.